Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel at Design with Maha. In today's vlog, we are going to look on to how to create a grass surface for exterior of a building or also it can be for a park which you are going to create. So for that, what I'm doing is I'm just going through the option plane and I'm creating a normal plane in my perspective. And near that you will have an option called modify and in modify your list you will have many options before that check for the parameters for the length width and height segment and now click on to the option called modify and there you will have an option called hair and fur excluding this there are many other varieties of options available in modify your list you can try it out but for this in order to create a grass like structure you will have to click on to this particular option called hair and fur and immediately you will get a structure like this and here the first thing it is called as a guide which comes under selection option so as soon as you click on to it towards the corner you can see this yellow corner splines and with the help of this drag option when you do drag it towards inwards and outwards the grass will either move towards inwards or outwards or to however you want the grass pattern to be appeared with and let me just drag down below and here you will have various tools in order to either crop a grass or in order to uh, cut the head of the grasses and here you will have an option called styling and there under styling you will have many kind of preset for the grass like thing to be appeared with and when you do click on to the first preset as you can see there will be a corner anchor point for each and everything with this kind of drag option you can either drag it outside or inwards or towards the downside or towards upside however you want the pattern to be appeared with you can click it accordingly once you are done with the finishing you will just have to go to the option called finishing style here there are many preset for the grass option you can click whichever you want and whichever is feasible for you to work with and once you are done go for finish styling so this is how your grass will appear now coming to the main pattern here we have two colors which will come under the option called display that is nothing but the corner anchor point will have a particular color concept for you to drag inwards or outwards with so whichever color you want you can just click it on accordingly see like this you can just click on to the color guide and you can click to the colors whichever you want the corner anchor points to be appeared with and just give an ok option there and now here you can see this option called display hat this has to be in an tick overview if it is an untick what will happen is the grass option will completely get vanished so once you are done with this let me drag it towards upwards and there you will have this option called material parameter which is going to act as a material editor for your grass so as this is a natural grass surface you cannot add some material editor inside it so that you can use this material parameter which is available inside this hair and fur option and there you can change the tip color root color and also for the fading or hue variations or for value variations and you also have the mutant color for that you can change it accordingly so now what i'm doing is i'm just changing my color into dark green to light green so that it will appear like a natural grass like thing and once you are done just give an okay and here we have the mutant color even if you want to change the mutant color you can also do it accordingly and let's give an ok now here we have this hue variation if you do increase it the color variation of the grass will become highlighted and also we have the value variation however you want the grass to appear maybe it may be a drought like uh, theme you are going to create in the 3d animation software you can increase the value variation and once you are done with this we can just give an ok option over there as you can see when i do click and undo for my display has everything will go off so do make sure that it is in tick option so once we are done with this this is how your final output will look like with the help of hair and fur option and also for the bottom what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put it in a green color so it will appear as a midged surface in the grass option so this is how the grass option is going to look like let me render and show you
as you can see this is how the final output of your grass is going to look like either you can create an outer lawn with this or you can create a theme park with this or maybe if you are going to create a small balcony area which will have a grass and flower pots or maybe an evening time And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a table which is which I'm going to put it inside this grass option. As you can see, you can increase the length segment, width segment, and height segment accordingly. As you have seen in the previous vlogs, we are just going to repeat the same process. And right click, and I'm going to convert to editable poly. And now with the help of polygon option, I'm just going to extrude a particular part of a box in order to create it as a table pattern which is going to act as a center part in the grass surface with control i'm just going to highlight two center parts in between and immediately let's go for extrude option and let me drag it towards upwards a bit once we are done with this let me go to the option called bevel so that the inner part of the table will drag to one particular extent and we are going to create a base with this once we are done with this what we are going to do is with the help of rotation option i am just rotating towards upwards and i am just going to place it properly in between the grass for that i am just using this particular option called move tool and i am just going to place it inside i am dragging it towards upwards so let us place it towards the center As you can see this is how the table is going to look like when you do place in between the grass surface. You can even scale it accordingly. As you can see once we are done with this what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a material editor for my table for that what I'm doing is I'm going to google and I'm just going to put it as wooden texture background so I'm planning to create an wooden texture bg for my table and once you put this particular texture you will have varieties of wood textures appearing in your images whichever you want you can choose it accordingly So I'm just going to choose this particular texture. Before you do create a particular concept in 3ds Max, make sure you have a rough plan of it and do download the images required for it and do save it in a particular file. So let me click on to the material editor. Shortcut for material editor will be M. So when you do click M in your keyboard, material editor will automatically open and I'm dragging and putting my wooden texture for it i'm just dragging it inside and my table is ready so as you can see this is how you are going to create an lawn like area with the help of this option called hair fur and texture okay guys we have come to end of today's vlog hope you people found it interesting and educative do if so do like share and subscribe to my channel we'll meet you in the next vlog with the same software 3ds max until then take care bye bye